Hello and welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. Today we're taking a look on how to create 3D text inside of Photoshop using very simple but effective techniques. Before we start, I would like to thank whatfontis.com for sponsoring this video. We all have been browsing Behance or Twitter, seeing a very nice font but not knowing the name of it. But with whatfontis.com you can fast and easy identify any font on the internet. Learn more about this service and how to use it later on in the video. Alright, so in Photoshop I'm going to make a new document, but of course you will make this in your header, banner or whatever you're using this for. So I'm just using 1920 by 1080 resolution on 72 and back and color on black. I'm going to grab our text tool or T on our keyboard. I'm using the font Burbank, big condensed, uh, black, but of course you can use whichever font you want. I'm just going to type out text. Just like so, um, color is also up to you, but I'm using orange. Um, we're going to create a new layer above it. Right click and make it a clipper mask. So the brush tool and the color black. And like I said, over maybe like a thousand times, if you press down Alt, right click on your mouse and drag right to the right, you can make the brush bigger or smaller. Just like so. So like a medium sized brush with the black color selected. I'm going to paint some shadows down here. Switch to white and paint in some highlights up here. I'm going to make this layer the blending mode overlay. Just like so, or we can drag down the opacity just a little bit. Perfect. Then we can double click on our text layer to bring up the layer styles. Select bevel and boss. Um, just copy these settings, but basically we want to create like a bevel on the top right here. So size it one pixel and the highlight mode on white and overlay. Use Ctrl and J to duplicate the text layer. Going to right click and clear layer styles and rasterize type. Going to set the move tool. Press shift and we're going to drag down, kind of like so. Then press down Ctrl and T, we're going to make it a little bit smaller. Uh, position it in the middle and just down like so. And we're going to double click to bring up the layer styles. Go to color overlay, we're going to select a, like a dark orange, almost like brown color. And to make it, um, to separate it from the main text. Just like so. Then on the same layer, I'm just going to select the polygon and lasso tool. We're going to fill in the gaps we have right here. I'm going to make a selection right so, just like so. Just control and backspace to fill it in. And on all the empty spaces along the text. And right here we can see where the where it ends, you're just going to like eyeball it to maybe around here. Control and backspace to fill it in. And we're going to do this with every letter. So making 3D text like this in Photoshop is really easy and it's a quite a good alternative to like using uh, Cinema 4D if you don't have it. Um, just like so, we're done with the, like the extrusion of the text, not really sure what to call it. But the next step is to create a new layer and make the clip mask over this layer right here. Just like so. As you can see, the text looks kind of bland and boring right now, so we're going to spice it up a little bit, create some shadows and some highlights on the back part right here. So we're going to select a quite a dark color, um, kind of like this one, let's see how it looks. Ooh, before we do that, we need to uh, right click and we're going to rasterize lay style, so we don't have the color overlay anymore. Yeah, and I think this color will work for our shadow. So when we're creating the shadows, we basically want to think that the light is coming from like over here or 
up up from the top so the shadows will ah you get it uh, hopefully right here we're going to make a selection with the polygon last tool select our brush with our shadow color which needs to be darker than this color right here make the brush a little bit smaller and painting just like so we can go down here we're going to select this part right here and let's see if the light comes from about right here this part will also be shadowed kind of like so perfect we need to make another selection from here to here so when creating these shadows you basically want to think from these points right here and from the points on the extruded part like so it's kind of hard to explain but hopefully you get it we basically want to um, uh, divide the um, text so we can create some shadows right so for this part we have a brush tool we have some shadows right here I'm going to leave a room in the middle for some highlights we can create some shadows down here as well kind of like so perfect good to make a new selection from here and let's see just like so have some shadows coming from up top kind of like so and one more up here you can see how much different this makes so now we're just going to do that with every other letter Even for easy parts like this one, we want to select, select it as well, because otherwise you can see we paint in, it comes and disturbs like this side or this side right here. So it's important that we select every part we want to shadow. I'm kind of doing a little bit rushed right now, but if you take your time, you can make it look really cool. Okay, so doing a last part right here. Boom, boom. Shadow on top and some shadow on bottom. All right, so now the shadows are done. We're going to create a new layer. Make that a clip mask as well. We're going to switch to white and we're going to paint in some highlights. Let's see about right here, right here, on the top right here. So like basically everywhere we don't have shadowed the text kind of like so right we're going to make this layer the blending mode overlay and we can drag down the opacity just a little bit if you think it's too much there now we're pretty much done we just have one final thing to do that that's really like them icing on the cake or the dot on the eye like i mentioned in the intro this video is actually sponsored by what font is so let's take a look at their awesome service. Let's say you scroll through Behance and find a font you really like, but of course you don't know the name of it. Take a screenshot of the text, head over to whatfontis.com, upload the image, and within 10 seconds you can find the exact font your favorite artist used. It is really simple and easy to use what font is, and to showcase that, I've created this image with the font Aero, and if we upload the image, it will take you to this page. Then you will have to type in some of the letters the AI couldn't identify, 
and boom, there we have it, number one, a rule. And what I like about what font is, is that you can filter your result to only show free fonts or maybe just commercial fonts, as well as a direct download link to the font. If you are interested in using their service, go to the link in the description below and get started right away. You can also upgrade to a premium version which unlocks all these awesome features. So thank you so much what font is for sponsoring this video. Let's get on with the tutorial shall we? So we're going to create a new layer above our first or the main text right here. Make it a clip mask. Going to set a brush tool. Going to increase the hardness to about like 20%. And have the color white selected. We're going to paint in some some shine on the text. So boom, 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 and boom. One more. Just like so. And what are we going to do with this layer? That's right, we're going to make it the blending mode overlay. And as you can see, it's really harsh. So you turn on the opacity to like 35, 40 maybe. And if you think the lines are too harsh, we can of course go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and increase the blur to yes, so kind of like that. So now we created some really cool 3D text by only using Photoshop. Let's see how many layers we used. One, two, three, four, five. We only used six layers to create this. And if you perfect it, you could probably do it in like five minutes or so. Yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video, maybe learned something new. And if this video gets, let's say, 750 likes, I will release the PSD for this. It's, um... Maybe not so use useful for this occasion, um, but if you want it, you can download it and maybe take a look and see how, how I actually made it. If you want to take a closer look, you can. Well, I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye.